In this video, we're going to talk about what a leader is in the relationship between a leader and a meter. So the first unit of measurement developed in the metric system was the meter, which is this. And this here is a steer, which is a cubic meter. And you know that liquids and gases in the metric system are measured in liters. You're all familiar with a two liter bottle of soda. We're going to show you the relationship between the meter or the cubic meter and the liter. So it works like this. This orange stripe right there is one decimeter. That's one tenth of a meter. And so in this cubic meter, there would be 10 times 10 times 10 or a thousand cubic decimeters. And this is a cubic decimeter. You've heard of the liter. The liter is a thousand milliliters. This is a liter. And the way they came up with that volume is they decided to make a liter equal exactly to a cubic decimeter. And I can prove that for you right now. Here's our cubic decimeter, and here's our liter. Believe it or not, this volume, one liter, is exactly equal to one cubic decimeter. Now, moreover, since a cubic decimeter is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, or a thousand cubic centimeters, and a liter is a thousand milliliters, we have a couple things that we can look at. One cubic decimeter is equal to one liter. A thousand cubic centimeters is equal to a thousand milliliters. So therefore, one cubic centimeter is exactly equal to one milliliter. We're going to use this a lot because when we find metric volume of an irregularly shaped object using, say, the overflow method where we're displacing water, we're going to say whatever the volume of the water that is displaced in milliliters is equal to the volume of the solid object in cubic centimeters. And now you understand the relationship between the liter and the meter.